Travis Tools by Design here. We're gonna do a quick video on installing the Firestone airbags in a 2016 Tundra TRD Pro. I am using the Daystar cradles below it. Stay tuned, check it out. I'm gonna go through all the steps really quick. This is gonna be a short and informative video. Here's the kit I went with after my research. Firestone is the best bags. And then this is the Daystar kit, the cradle kit for the airbag that was recommended on the forums quick overview of this Firestone kit. We've got the two premium bags. This is our bracketry set up for on top of the leaf springs. There's our air hose, our hardware, our Daystar cradles, instructions. I went ahead and got a T as I'm going to run both lines to the bags to one nipple for equalized inflation. And then I did get a cutter here additional. So let's go ahead and get it installed. You want to cut the bump stop off flush according to the instructions. Your sip saw works great. Look at that baby. Oh. 12 millimeter fuel pump control box. Metal. We're going to need that space. There we go. The next step calls for mounting this onto the bracket that goes over the leaf spring. However, we're skipping the step where we're screwing in to the Firestone, and this is because we are installing the Daystar bracket, and that's where this is going to just set on top of and be free floating. Bracket, align the hole with the pin, boom, boom. I mean, obviously it doesn't go but one way bottom bracket. We don't have to worry about the alignment, the instruction state, so that's going to go there. This is going to go right here, but it's going to be bolted straight up in. There are two pins here in the frame. Those go into these two holes. Super simple. Pin, washer. Here is the airline. It is a swivel airline. When we have it tightened down in the top of the bag, you can point it in the direction you want. Same thing on this side. Let's go. Stamp numbers go up on the airbag so it fits over these pins in the frame. Hey, baby. Now we reinstall the fuel pump control brackets to shift the pump over and mount it we have clearance here. Fully installed, everything's set up, now we got to run our lines. They say to take this line set, stretch it out, get it exactly in half and then cut it. I bought this cool little tool, super simple, put the line in and push down, boom! perfectly straight cuts. That is actually the kit. The Firestone kit came with this no drill bracket to mount to your frame or wherever you want it. Um, I'm going to use this right now. I'm not going to drill any holes in the bumper. I'll likely be replacing this bumper, but I'm also going to put one of the electronic air pumps underneath the truck later on. Not right this moment. I'm going to use this temporary bracket. I'm only going to be using one of these holes as I'm running a T to one line air to both bags at once. We'll go ahead and get this installed right here. Gonna route the airline next underneath. They give you these red zip ties along with some heat shields. Of course, you wanna not bend it tight. Follow existing wires. Don't put it near hot objects or hot areas if possible. Otherwise, you gotta use one of these heat shields. And don't put it near corners, edge debris. I'm gonna connect both of them together in this T and run it to one fitting in the back. Pick your path, pick your poison. These fittings are super simple with the airlines. You're just gonna take it, push it straight in. You will feel it kind of click in and then pull out and make sure it's tight. That's all you gotta do. Now we're connecting one bag to this, one bag to this, and this is gonna run to the back and get an air bag. Boom, that's it, extra out of here. This tool is awesome, highly recommend getting this. Here's our little air valve. We're only using one in the kit. So we're gonna unscrew the end, unscrew this. Washers that come with it, one on each side. 
two. Put the clear cap on, we don't want to damage it. It's right into the back. And voila. 60 PSI. Hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. It really is that easy. You can have it done in under really an hour if you push it, two hours easy. You don't need a lift. You don't have to take the tires off if you don't want to. It's made a big difference in my ride quality with this suspension. And with the towing I just did in the trailer, I had a 70 Chevelle on it with the weight. I adjusted the level of the truck, super simple. I had 50 PSI in the bags for that setup. If you like this, check out the rest of the page. We've got more coming. Thanks a lot. Cheers all, have a great day.